Hello Identified Gamers! Today we have quite a bit of stuff to do. Uh, lots of little things like Essence Trailer, little reaction things to do. We're gonna take a look at the voting, and then we can watch some more Koa. And specifically today we'll be watching the first set from Day 2 of the SEA Qualifiers. That's a violin! Wow! And it should be pretty fun to check out, but let's start with some reactions. First up, we've got the new uh, Season 31 Ranked Treasures. We're gonna see how they look in-game. This one... Oh! There's like little fish that follow her. That's kind of cool. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. Mind's Eye has the uh, has the S tier rank. Ooh, it's like a big ocean. Okay, that's kind of cool. We got Bonathan. Oh yeah, Bonathan has like a little like ice cog or something. I see. All right, that's kind of cool. I like I like the little fish effects. I was wondering what it was. It almost looked like a like like a perfume or something that you'd see like from a from a perfumer's thing. Interesting. Okay, are they only showing off Mind's Eye? No, here's Bonathan. Here's Bonathan. Yep, there's his little ice cog. I wonder, does it make his bombs look like ice? Let's see. Are they blue? Uh, eh, they have like an icy effect. Whoa. Okay, I thought they'd... Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's kind of cool. Actually, that's like a bit messy. I can't even lie. That's a little messy. It might be like kind of hard to see with that. All right, we got forward here. Tell me he skates. <laughs> Ooh, okay, hold on. That's kind of cool. All right, you got a cool lightning effect. Boom. Okay, that's cool, I like that. I think if I want any of the ranked treasures, I think I want forwards from this. Next up we have the season 31. Lay the consciousness and lead the prey into their slumber. Emma, what? Uh, season 31 Essence 1 um, trailer. Within the clandestine revelry lies what the? the failed passage of time. They're all dead. They're all being eaten, what the heck? Manipulate the lost minds in a chasm of sweet. Oh my gosh, it's the new S tier hunter. <laughs> she actually has been nerfed quite a bit. Illusion cleared. I witnessed oh. the truth behind it all. What just happened? Must leave now. Wait, he's actually dying. Run, Charles! Did Bro, that was actually kind of well? creepy. No! Forgive me. But I must leave. Charles, run, buddy. <laughs> That's actually kind of creepy. What the? Yo, Antonio's the back there. The nightmare <laughs> is also the beginning. Huh? Yo, with all the butterfly effects, you could have told me this was like a, like a Melly SS. I, maybe there'll be a Melly B tier. Who knows? Probably not. But that was cool. All right. I feel bad for Charles, but that was cool. So there's the reactions, but there's also the voting. Return of costume voting is available. I don't know if I can do this on PC. Uh, I guess, oof, that, oof. Uh, <laughs> I can barely see. Okay, here we go, this, this is better. I have five votes left, let's see. So this is, this is costume voting, but I don't really know what exactly this means. Um, I don't, okay, there's actually like a, a lot of rules, but like surely I don't need to vote. <laughs> so I think you get like five per day or something. Return of store costumes and return of essence costumes. Let's see what this is. Whoa, what the heck? Oh. Oh, okay, I see. Interesting. Okay. Oh, so that's that's all we got then. That's all we got. Okay. Well, I already have coordinator, and I already have the gardener, so I'm not gonna vote for those two. Um, let's see. Acrobat tea party was pretty cool. I guess I'll vote for that one. How do I do it? I'm clicking it, and it's not letting me. Oh, th never mind. There we go. Okay, cool. So that's we we vote acrobat. Um, I guess this one too. I don't know how to freaking. There we go. Okay, it let me do it. Okay, so we got acros. Um, let's see. Forward, Merc, I'm not voting for that Merc skin. That's that's creepy. <laughs> I don't really know what else. I'm not really like super crazy about any of the other ones, honestly. Um, oh wait, the Charles skin. Yeah, I'll take the Charles skin. That, that one's cool. Wait, I only have one vote remaining. Who did I vote for? I thought I only did three. Oh well, rip. Um. Sure, you know what? Let's go Enchantress. I see this Enchantress skin like all the time. There we go. All right, so I did all those votes, but those are just the store costumes. What about Essence? Do I have any votes for Essence? Oh, oh, oopsies. Wait. Oh my gosh, I was only looking at Survivors. There were Hunters too. Bro, I'm so cringe. I could have voted for Antonio. It's okay. I got more votes, so I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna vote 
I'm probably gonna vote Crescent Knight. Probably just Crescent Knight, honestly. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. And then, yeah, we're good, we're good. All right, let's see, what, what about these? Let's see. So for survivors, we have, uh, <laughs> nothing that I honestly want. Uh, there's no melee costumes, are there? I don't think there's any melee costumes here. Um, yeah, oh, Mr. Bunny would be funny. Oh, Cowboy Misfit. I actually really like that skin. I might actually want to vote for that. Uh, Cowboy Misfit is cool. Oh, Train Conductor Gravekeeper? Heck yes. I will 100% vote for that. Oh, Wicked Witch Melly is here? Wait. How does how does this even work? If these are Essence, how do they come back? These must be, Oh, there must be a lot. There's Cheese, bro. Cheese is right next to Wicked Witch Melly. Okay, so this must go on for a while. Are these like all the A tiers then? There's Daughter of Melly. Oh, oh, it goes on for a while. What about Hunters? Let's see what we have for Hunters here. Ooh, Crystal Candle Soul Weaver. That's a good one. Scarecrow Smiley is another good one. Yo, these are good ones. What? That Geisha skin is cool. The Feaster Poseidon. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, yo, the Gamekeeper Forest Hunter. Light Guardian. Yo, these are cool. What? These are cool. Confined Dean. I kind of like that skin. It's very spooky. Forgotten Boy. I love Forgotten Boy. Oh, gosh. Not the bear bonbon, bon. heck no, not bear bonbon. Bon. That's disgusting. That is disgusting, dude. Ivan, yes, yes, 100%. These aren't, yeah, so I don't, I don't know how many, like, why, why are these, like, these specific, are they just, like, the popular skins or something? I don't know. That's obviously not, like, all the skins. Yo, the breaking wheel skin, oh my gosh, there are so many good skins here. I see why people are excited for this now. Wait, so how many, how many even come back? I've never done this before, I don't really know what this means. I see. Well, we have multiple days of voting. What about vote processing? What is this? The top 20 rankings are updated. Oh! Oh, so these are the winners, right? Now. Okay, so obviously prisoners in first. That is no surprise. So prisoner, small child, barmaid, perfumer, bloody queen, psych, geisha, patient, gardener. That one's still pretty new. Coordinator Amazonite is pretty high. Okay. Ah, oh, rip. No melee skins. Oh, wait, Charles! Yeah, Charles is there! Okay, hold on. Hold on, this, this is cool. Okay, so Charles is there. Interesting. Okay, there, there's some cool skins that I would probably want to get here. Most likely the Charles skin, the Prisoner skin, and maybe that Enchanter skin. I wish there were more Hunters. There's a lot more... I wish, like, the Crescent... Oh, I'm gonna, I have to vote Crescent Knight, bro. Like, I already have ways to get the, the melee skin, but I, I think I should vote Crescent Knight. That's such a good skin, bro. People need to... Oh, my gosh. I might actually I might actually put like a lot of my votes toward Crescent Knight because like I want that skin bro. It's such a cool skin. Anyways, I think we're good on voting for now everybody. Uh, so let's uh, get on to the Koa matches. Alrighty, here we go. It is time for the set between GH and UL. It is going to be Opera Singer right from the start, as we can see. A bit unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. We got Gardner, Patient, Merc, uh, Embalmer going up against that Opera Singer. And the spawns are looking pretty standard. We got Patient at four stop, Gardner near first. Actually, I feel like I'm not sure what she spawned there, not at first. I don't really know. Merc at Cypher Bridge and then Embalmer in two story. Probably just gonna opt to chase either Embalmer or uh, Patient. We'll have to see. And here we go. Yo, we got the Doma Key Mercenary skin. You'll love to see it. And Embalmer skin. I don't think I've seen that skin before. It's got like little polka dots all over him. That's pretty funny. All right. And we got the, the S tier skin for uh, Opera Singer. Oh, dang. She's already on him. What? Jeez. I didn't even know where she was. I was paying attention to the skins. That's a really early hit. That is a really early hit. Holy moly, dude. Uh, we are going to start pallet stemming the opera singer here a little bit. Yeah, I might, might need to start pallet stemming because uh, you already did take a pretty early hit there. Oh, he's just... No, knee jerk. Oh, can he hook? Can he hook in time? He hooks. That's his last hook? He already used up a hook? What the heck, dude? This is not a very long kite. This is a very short kite. My goodness. Can he, let's see if he can at least force out blink. Mind game, and dang, that hit? It's always such a 50-50 that hits, and that's a really short kite. Like, extremely short kite, but yeah. Uh, as for the builds, we got um, Trump Card Detention and Blink on Opera Singer, very standard. No Blink was using that kite. Um, patient with uh, Borrow Time and Knee Jerk. No more uh, hooks, unfortunately. Uh, Mercenary does have the standard Borrow Time uh, Tied, and then Tied Knee Jerk Reflex on the Gardener, and, uh, or sorry, on the, on the Mercenary. No, the Embalmer. <laughs> I said the three wrong characters. Sorry, Tide Knee Jerk on Embalmer, 
And then, um... Knee jerk bar time on Garner. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. So double double tide is here. Uh, hello? Oh. Oh. Where she's trying to body block. Okay, well yeah, you wanna hit him because you can get full prez off of that. I, that, that was kind of weird looking. Um I guess she I guess she was trying to just like force him to not die anywhere specific, but uh I guess he's just gonna die right here. The thing is they can't cough at him because the coffin is also right here. Uh, yeah, the patient is kind of just gonna get sold here. We're gonna see that the mercenary was healed up. Uh, he's gonna come in for the rescue. But the Cyphers are really far behind. You know, on a, on a, I shouldn't say an average kite, but like a slightly good opera kite, the Cyphers, boom, would be like at this right now when they first go down, but he's about to die. He's about to die and the Cyphers are so far behind. I can only see this as a 4K. I mean, they do have Embalmer, which could help out a lot. But the thing is, once you lose your first person in an opera singer match, like, it becomes really difficult to, uh, to come back. And they don't even opt to, uh, rescue. They're just gonna feed Tinnitus and sell. Um, yeah, pretty unfortunate. Mercenary still does have the Tide, so that could help them. But, yeah, things are not looking good. They haven't even finished a single Cypher. Not a single one just yet. Um... Blink is still up as well, so we're gonna have we're gonna see a most likely a, a very fast down. She's cutting onto the cipher, um, and she can't even get the bubble. Oh no, the bubble is close to being primed, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough to. Uh, I feel like she can just blink and hit her before she can get the bubble off. Um, nope, there's the bubble. Okay, well this buys a few extra seconds, and yeah, that's about it. Just just a few extra seconds. Oh boy. No blink was even needed. That's a dead gardener. Um, it's gonna be tough for them to even play for dungeon at this point. Uh, yeah, it's it's they can't they can't bother embalming the gardener either. Mercenary will probably just use the tide. Uh, Exeter decoding is in effect. I'm pretty sure. I, I wasn't paying attention, but it's either going to be in effect any any second now, or it's already in effect. Um, but the ciphers, yeah, they finished three, and she spots out the mercenary. Okay, there's one elbow pad. Maybe not the greatest elbow pad, honestly. Didn't get a lot of distance. He's going to take a hit here. Um, still has two elbow pads left. Embalmer is... It, oh, he's embalming the Gardener, surely. He's going to embalm Gardener. I think I was like, why is he not on a Cypher? He's going to embalm the Gardener, surely. Uh, he's up there. Yep, embalms the Gardener. Perfect, perfect. Um, Gardener needs to run just a... No, run run into a corner as far away as possible. Don't go... You're going to get down anyway. Why are you running... To, you're making it easier for her. Just die in a corner. Die, you wanted to die on the corner. See, now, now you're closer. Oh, that's not good. Because now she has a good idea where the coffin is going to be. And look at, she can just spawn camp you now. If you died off in the very corner of the map, she would it would have taken her a long time to get over there. Maybe even used, maybe would have even uh, had to like make her swap to teleport or something. But now she still has her trait. Uh, I don't know, dude. Okay, the, the, the dash um, wasn't great. I guess she, she had a cape. I'm not really sure why she didn't use the cape there to catch up. Um, but yeah, now Gardner is up here. Is dead on chair now, though. Dead on chair with no harassers. And they have no they have no more coffin. I can only see this as 4K. Bubble? Nope. Can't even get the bubble off. Cannot even get the little bubble. Yeah, this is a 4K, dude. This is a 4K. That, that, that patient's kite was just not long enough. The whole thing about the, the opera singer uh, meta is that the first kite needs to, like, almost be a three cypher kite for you to guarantee at least a draw and now it's it's over this is this is actual 4k because she sees trail she picks up on embalmer and uh he does have knee jerk but it actually it gets hit there too wow unfortunate for the embalmer yeah i think she hasn't even had to use her trait at all yet not not yet at all she could just blink if she no nah, that's a terror shock too all right um and she knows where mercenary is yep Actually, does she know where Mercenary is? I'm pretty sure the Cyphers don't start wiggling until they're at 20%. Uh, well, she knows she's he's probably on a Cypher because there's only a few left. So she just has to, like, pick up on the Sinaitis, find him, get him down. And Merc has no self-heal either. Um, I'm not 100% sure if she knows that, but we know that. So she goes back for Mercenary, goes back for Embalmer, and then that's just it. That is GG's. Oh, boy. There's just, there, yeah, there's, it was just that first kite. He, like, patient went down when all the ciphers were only at, like, what, 30? 30, 40? Like, that's really bad. Like, you want, you want your first kite to go down after that, when the ciphers are, like, at least around 70-ish. Like, if, if they can be around 70, then it's fine. But, yeah, I don't know, dude. 
And now she could just teleport. She is gonna opt to just teleport, yep. Teleport to save the time. And he's in the god kite area, but the thing is, Mercenary's down. He's taking the kite, that's just it. That That's the game, that's the game, that's a 4K. Starting things off with a 4K from the Opera Singer. Very good stuff for GH. All right, here we go. GH servers are up next. They're going up against Opera Singer. Of course, it is going to be another Opera Singer match, but it is round one, second half. So what do we expect? It is going to be Acrobat, Patient, Gardener, and Mercenary. Pretty good uh, pretty good survivors on Moonlight and pretty good survivors against Opera Singer in general. We see Seer, Anti-Charles, Officer Ban. That makes sense because Mercenary is worse against Opera Singer. Okay, let's see how this match goes. We're going to see some pretty standard spawns here. Acrobat at fourth, Patient at first, Merc at Cypher Bridge, and uh, Gardener in the two-star area. So yeah, pretty standard Moonlit spawns. Um, I don't know who the Opera chases though. You could probably chase the Acrobat at fourth, but... I feel like we're just seeing a lot of uh, a lot of opera matches just take place at four stop with a character that's good at four stop like patient or acro. It's it's pretty funny how often it happens. Okay, here we go. Yep, she is gonna opt to chase the uh, the acrobat at four stop. We do have the awesome Joker Persona Five skin. I think Garner had the uh, the Koa One skin. I think it's, it's a little pirate theme there. Uh, now let's see, can he get the bomb properly? Oh, why didn't he go for the diagonal one? What is, that's 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 kind of weird. What? Hello? Am I stupid? Where is what is he doing? Why didn't he just okay for why didn't he just diagonal? Did Opera have like shadows set up? Is that why? I, I, I wasn't paying full attention there, maybe. I feel like most of the time you usually go for the diagonal across the tracks. That seems kind of weird. He's gonna jump across the tracks here. Yep, yeah, boom. Does use the fire bomb for that. I'm not sure why he didn't use the sticky bomb. That was fire. I'm pretty, yeah, that was fire bomb. What the heck? Uh, I feel like I mean I guess it doesn't really really matter that much, but like if you at least can force Opera to walk through the the fire bomb, she can't she can't dash, which is really good. Um, although this kite is already lasting much longer. Oh, this gets just goes for the blink down. Wow, doesn't want to play around with this freaking kite any longer. But that was a better kite than uh that that was a better kite than the patient. And the thing is, Acrobat should have another fire bomb ready i'm pretty sure so we should have two bombs to rebound with we do see double tied we have borrowed time tied on both gardener and mercenary uh borrowed time knee jerk on the two kiting characters acrobat and patient which is a little interesting we see another merc getting stuffed out again dude this is the second time we've seen merc get stuffed out and come, somebody come in for the backdoor rescue these these two games are looking very similar the only difference is that the cypher progress is much farther along we already see bubble from the gardener and boop Yep, she is going to be going off uninjured, gets the rescue. Okay, th this is going a little bit better for uh, for Team GH on the survivor side. And beautiful pallet stun there as well. Now, Opera has no blink to work with, and he has two bombs. Let's see, we have firebomb used here. Ooh, not the, um, not the greatest bomb right there. And she just walks right through it, no respects at all. Dude, she didn't respect the pallet at all. She's like, yeah, he's not going to pallet stun. He's just not going to do it. Dang, dude, no respect for these pallets at all. But either way, see how they have three ciphers done? See, in the last game, like the scenario where we were at is like all the ciphers were at like what, 60, 70 at this point? Yeah, or like maybe even like 80. Now they're now three ciphers are done and two are being worked on. This is looking so much better. This is, this is looking like a, like a draw or something. Um, and the thing is they also forced out the opera's trait so they don't have to worry about like a trait for a while. Uh, is Mercenary going to rescue? He is actually not going to rescue. Yep, we're feeding tonight. Isn't Gardner? Can she get this? No, she can't get it. Well, now you kind of just revealed yourself to the uh, the opera singer. Unfortunately, they did not uh, get their double tied. I feel like um, Mercenary should have come in. There's the bubble. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. And I think yeah, these pallets are still here. Oh, good prediction. Tries to tries to go back mind game it just a little bit. Um, and now we're gonna see, she's not, she, dude, she has the little four stop there. I'm not really sure why she's going over here. All I have is like one pallet. Will she disrespect it? Oh, yep. <laughs> this opera does not care about pallets. Okay, but we, sh we should see mercenary coming for the rescue while um, the patient takes over the cypher. The cypher is slightly behind though and she can honestly pressure it. This, this could be bad. This could be, the mercenary has to come in like right now. And they have to scatter. He has to come in now and scatter. Yep. Uh, high key, she could have gone for the cipher, maybe. She could have gone for the cipher. Um, 
Mercenary, just trying to buy as much time as possible. There we go, gets hit. We have Tide Turner, and then... It's not gonna be ready, but... Oh, Bubble is there. Okay, oh, she's gonna have Bubble primed for endgame. She will go down, and so will Mercenary, but they have to just kind of pop here, I think. Uh, uh... Oh! Maybe they're gonna... Try oh, there we go, put her in animation. Okay, there we go. Put her in animation, then they pop. I was gonna say, she can either do that or vault and then die. The thing is, you want to pop that before uh, <laughs> before you get hit by Opera a second time, because I'm pretty sure... Dang! Really? Really? It wasn't primed? I guess it wasn't close enough. Dang. Rest in peace, Bubble. Uh, I think they don't make... I don't think they make this. They don't make that. They don't make that. She's going to be able to teleport in time. Just barely. Oh, uh, no. They can make it. They can make it. Oh. Oh, no. But the thing is, Mercenary still is... Oh, he's at half health. He's at half, so yeah, he doesn't... Oh, my gosh. Oh, hold on. Garner's not done on... Ooh. Wait, but now... Yeah, she she, she did that to cut it off. Patient just has to give... That, okay, that's a that's a three. That's a one escape. That's a one escape. Just take the one escape. Just take the one escape. Oh, my gosh. There's no way. Yo, okay. They got one out. They got one out. All right. Well, that that's good for at least G, uh, Team GH. They have one person escaping, so they do have the lead. That's the difference between 4K to 3K. I believe that's like a two-point difference or something. I, I forget. Maybe three-point. I don't know. But they got somebody out, which puts them in the lead. Here we go. On to round two, first half. We're going to see Antiquarian, Acrobat, uh, Mercenary, and Psychologist. Um, interesting team. They actually did allow Anti. They banned... Oh, man. Wax, bro. <laughs> All right, man. We're, we do see that uh, they banned Priestess, Aeroplanist, Cheerleader, and Toy Merchant. Toy Merchant is an interesting ban on Ever Sleeping Town. She's not bad on Ever Sleeping Town, but like, I don't know. That That is kind of a weird ban. I feel like you would rather ban like Antiquarian. But I guess Antiquarian versus Wax Arts isn't like, I guess she's not like super dummy strong against Wax. I don't know. Let's see. Spawns are pretty standard. I'm not sure who he's going to chase first, though. He's spawning next to the Mercenary. They're going to be able to rotate him. Uh, but I don't know where exactly the survivors are gonna go. It's just gonna be up to their communication, I guess. But yeah, this this is a solid uh, this is a solid pick for GH. Wax Artist is pretty good on this map. Um, all right, let's see. It's kind of it's it's, it's kind of jank to like tell what's happening out with all these like little screens to focus on. Um, but it does look like the Antiquarian is taking the first. Yeah, Antiquarian is gonna be taking the first kite. Can we please zoom in on Hunter perspective? Thank you. <laughs> right on cue. Very good. Now, as much as I don't like watching Wax Artist, I do like watching Antiquarian, so it could be interesting to see the uh, the counterplay here. Actually opting to just wax off the Cypher, wasting a little bit of time that he probably didn't need to uh, to waste. We do see that, um, we do see Borrowed Time, Knee Reflex on both Psychologist and Antiquarian, and we have uh, Acrobat and Mercenary with Borrowed Time and Tide. So, you know, a, a pretty a pretty safe, uh, pretty safe build uh, set here. And um, Antiquarian is actually using the flute to just um, absolutely just try to maintain as much distance as possible against the Wax Artist. That's what you need, dude. You, like, the, against Wax Artist, you just need to pull as much distance as possible. Ooh, good, good. That was good. Stun. You knew that you were probably gonna um, take some wax, so you just you just stun him, so he can't hit you once you get fully waxed. That is why Antiquarian is really freaking good, dude. That is why she is so good. Um, and even the fact that she can get some extra uh, distance by using the flute, she gets that 5% speed boost. Is she going to get on tram here? She's probably going to get on tram. No reason not to, right? Yep, going to opt to get on tram. And... Oh! Oh! Take that, Wax Artist! woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Sorry. <laughs> I get excited when I see tram, uh, you know, <laughs> being funny. My goodness, dude. That actually bought a lot of time. And now we can maybe see some support. Um, psychologist actually is gonna just try and body block this. Into, oh, maybe try to body block some wax. I mean, if they can, if they can extend this, yo, tram getting in his way again. Yo, that's the second time, the second time the tram gets in his way. Oh, that's funny. That is funny, dude. That is funny. And he's gonna opt to, he's gonna opt to switch targets. He's on psychologist now, but she has three health. And it's, oh my gosh, that's huge, dude. That tram was huge. I, I hate to say it, it, it is pretty luck, because like if, if he got on it, he would have been able to go down. Um, uh, maybe a bit of an early pallet stun. He does blink. Oh, he does blink, though. He does blink. Okay, but the thing is, that's not, a, that's not a down yet. That's not a down. And honestly, he shouldn't he shouldn't even go for the down right now, because then Cycle have rebound. 
Yep, if he thing is if she has stress, she can rebound for free. Oh boy. And she can't vault. No, she Oh, he's gonna try and body block? No, don't body block, don't body block. She has stress. Bro, don't body block. She has stress. See now she can't rebound as strongly. Also, Antiquarian picked up a bot. That's super good. She hasn't used it yet, but they could potentially use the bot to open up the gate. Which, by the way, bot opening up gate is, like, dummy safe, bro. It's so safe. Because it's like, you get the gate open, which is, like, usually extremely risky if the hunter has teleport. It's so funny that the first down is the acrobat. He had to switch targets so many times. So many times. Honestly, Antiquarian could use the bot to heal herself. She, that, that bot, like... I'm not sure why she's not using the bot. Like, the bot can do so many things. It can work on ciphers. You can heal yourself with it. I'm not sure why she's not using the bot. She could be using it for a bot body block, but, like, against Wax Artists, it's kind of pointless. Because, uh, it's hard to get body blocks against Wax Artists if you have, like, the bot. Um, we already... Okay, oh, she does drop the bot. And she's gonna opt to have the bot finish the cipher? Yeah, she's gonna have the bot finish the cipher. Okay. Maybe she was just decoding the cipher so the bot could, uh, could finish it. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, that buy is actually gonna make a make a bit of a difference because now they can heal up while also decoding. I'm just saying, bro, bot is a broken. That's a terror shock onto the psychologist. Um, yeah, bot is working on the cipher. I don't really know what Antiquarian is doing. She's kind of in the middle. I guess she's maybe gonna want to go get healed up. But yeah, he keeps switching targets. This is not great for the wax artist. Like he can draw this because of like end game detention and all that stuff. But I don't know, dude. Um. And I think the bot is the only one on the cipher. Yeah, the bot, the bot, fin the bot finishes the, uh, it finishes the cipher, and now the bot is kind of hiding. I think you could actually walk that bot to the exit gate. High key, you could walk. I mean, it is hiding, but you could walk it to the exit gate. Antiquarian looks like she's gonna finish off the cipher. We do see the hot wax is here, but oh, he gets the. Oh yeah, he got the rusty, but he's gonna get farmed, instant farmed. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, they just teleport to the. S Dang, what? He just goes, that's really aggressive. There's a lot of spread damage here. There is a lot of spread damage. Um, I don't know why she didn't drop that pallet earlier. I feel like pallet timing mean, that was better. Uh, but now he can chair on the Cypher. This is actually, wait, this is actually looking good for the Wax Artist. I thought it, that teleport was, cr oh my gosh, that teleport was actually kind of crazy. That teleport was actually kind of crazy, dude. Oh my gosh. That teleport was actually kind of crazy that's why i feel like she should have healed herself up with the bot i don't know i mean they're they're fine they're they're having to oh my gosh bro do they really have to open up a third cypher versus wax artist are you kidding me dude that's so cringe we have one at 91 one at 70 and they can't work on either of them because wax oh my gosh dude wax artist bro wax artist is is something else bro he is something else He's just gonna wax it off again. Oh my gosh, wax is so. Oh my gosh, psychologist actually just opts to heal mercenary so he can get the rescue a little safer. Um. Oh. We do see drop down. Oh, that's it. That's a stuffed rescue. He's gonna hot wax. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's it. Oh. He terror shocks the merc. Bro, that's huge. They just pop here, surely. Oh my gosh, that's actually huge. Wax art is so broken, bro. The fact that he was able to wax off that cipher. They had to do that's why I'm that's why I don't like wax art, because you literally have to prime two freaking ciphers. You basically have to like if you're up against a wax art that knows what they're doing, you basically have to decode six ciphers. Like it's not a five cipher game, it's six ciphers. Bro, wax, dude. Oh my gosh, Acrobat might be... Okay, Acrobat will be able to get the rescue, but the gate is not going to be open. And he knows where they're going to go. He knows. Oh gosh. Yeah, I, I don't know what they do here. I feel like they need to spread out and try at least pray to get one person out the gate. Um, That's the mercenary. Yeah, but the thing is, it's going to be Acrobat on gate. <laughs> it's going to be Acrobat on gate, bro. Oh my gosh. And he just... Waxes it off, walks around, hits him, down he goes. They're gonna try and rescue. Oh, can he rescue Psych in time? I don't think he can. Oh no. So close, dude. Just seconds away. And Acrobat might be able to open up the gate. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be freaking close. It's Acrobat on gate, though. I don't know if he makes this because it's Acrobat on gate. If he wax bombs the gate. 
Ah, uh, no, please. Please, Mike, please! No! No! He makes it open! He makes it open! Yes! Oh, just barely! Oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> I thought that was going so well for the survivors, but they just didn't heal. They needed to heal and play it slower. Oh my gosh, Wax Cyrus is so broken, bro. He's able to wax off Cyphers. Oh my gosh. So broken, bro. Jeez. I mean, good game regardless, but man, I thought that was in favor of the survivors, and then like... It just wasn't with that that end game uh, or that that almost end game teleport. I will say that was that was good. I'm glad he teleported there because it was pretty hype. I gotta admit it was it was kind of hype uh, seeing the momentum shift with that one teleport. All right, here we go. It's round two, second half. What are we gonna see? What are we going to see? We got psychologist, aeroplanist, mercenary, and last character is going to be cowboy. All right, all right, we got some Kevin Gaming. They are banning Opera Singer. Thank goodness we don't have to see another Opera Singer match. We do see Seer, Anti, uh, Forward, and Cheerleader banned. Okay, now who's the Hunter gonna pick? It's gonna be Dream Witch. Okay, okay, Dream, Dream Witch can cook on this map. She can definitely cook on this map. Um, Psychologist is probably okay. They don't have a barmaid or anything. I'm curious to see how this is gonna go. I feel like the decoding might be a little slow with Mercenary and Kevin, but... We'll have to see. This is a bit of an interesting spawn. Nobody's spawning near uh, the cabin area. Um, I guess the first chase is going to be the cowboy? But I've, I, I've seen cowboys struggle in Dream Witch before. Uh, I guess it really depends on how like the Dream Witch and cowboy play specifically and what the routing is going to look like. I don't know. This could be interesting. This could be really interesting. Here we go. Alrighty, Dream Witch time. We, oh, we got the Misfit cowboy skin. The... the uh, Koa, the Koa uh, Psych skin, Domaki Mercenary, you love to see it. All right, let's see. Pretty standard build already for the Dream, which looks like she's got a uh, Patroller, Trump Card, and Detention. Getting some good speed already here. Um, we're going to drop the first Leech. Yep, first Leech is up. Main body is also on the way. Oh my. Oh, I feel like that was a little lucky. Oh, we see the Patroller here. Yep, here comes Patroller. And... Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Does, does get him, does get him. Okay, I was like, what the heck? <laughs> Jerry looks so freaking weird there. Okay, um, she's kind of just swinging. Uh, try and force the leech. Oh, she's not swinging because she wants them. She wants to follow her hit. Yeah, that makes sense. Didn't want to. Oh, tram maybe tram. Oh no, she's she's definitely not in that. Okay. Um, here comes another patroller, dude. Another patroller. Cowboy does. Oh, he does have flywheel. He could fly with a bite here. We might need to see him fly with a bite. Yep, there's the. He misses the flywheel. He mistimes the flywheel and he just goes down. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I feel like most pros normally know how to flywheel the bite. He was way too early. He was way too early on that bite. Oh my gosh. The ciphers aren't looking too bad though, but it's Basement Dream Witch. Dream Witch in Basement is like maybe one of the best Basement characters like to ever exist. And she still has her leech too. Um, we're going, we're going to see, oh, here we go. Charles is here. You have to, you might just have to go for it now. This is, this is super early. Yep, here comes another leech. Now she has three followers, dude. And nobody's picked up a witch mark at all. Oh, boy. She gets hit on Cowboy. Okay, Cowboy Cowboy loses the leech, but he is going to immediately get farmed. He just has to get away from Basement. At this point, just, just go away if, as far away as Basement from, as possible. Okay, she's getting a hit for more presence. Yep, just get away from Basement. Get away from Basement. Like, if she if she drags you to Basement, she just wastes time. She has, to, she has to waste so much time dragging you all the way back to Basement. I think she can maybe drag to Basement with this. Um, depending on if she has giant claw or not, I'm not really sure. But three ciphers are done. This is still this is looking okay. This it, this is looking okay. Could be better, but it's looking okay. Um, Mercenary still has another use of tide. Aeroplane has already used up his tide. Um, the other two characters do have fly with everybody with borrowed time, of course. Okay, so that yeah, this this is not um this is not basic, but this is also a really good chair. So at this point, you just want to like rescue and then just use your tide like cowboy die in a corner. Um, Jerry is just out to patrol. And, oh, okay, cancels the patroller, actually. Kind of a useless patroller. He's going to try and body block for the cowboy. Okay. Uh, huh. Interesting. Well, we're going to see hit onto the mercenary. He's literally going to body block for the cowboy. They want to keep this cowboy a little... What? Why are they both just looking at each other? What? He's Dude, Aeroplanets is so brave. He's just sitting right on that follower, bro. He is just... Oh. 
Oh! Oh, man. The swap to the blink to get the down. And, oh. Bro, Aeroplane is... Why, why is she not swinging at him? Is that his leech? Uh, that must be his leech. Okay, maybe she just... Okay, she finally swings. Jeez. I was like, why is she not swinging? That was so weird. Like, she had so many opportunities to swing at him, just wasn't doing it. I know that was his leech, but, like, that was so jank, dude. Okay, we do see Psych whistle to the Aeroplane. So now he's at, uh... He, his health is a little bit better, but she's gonna set up another leech before the cypher can get done. Yep. There's the leech. He's pushing it. He's pushing it. Wait, is he literally gonna? Oh, that was bad. That was bad. He lost cypher progress there. He's tapping. He's tapping it. Okay. Hits. Okay. There we go. And um, finish it. Finish it. Come on now, Charles. And bro, it's primed. It's primed. He didn't get to finish it. <laughs> All right, well, now they know what Cypher is uh, ready. Dang, that's kind of jank. Um, he does still have his hover and one more jetpack. The next time he goes for... Oh, he's, he's just going to rush it. He's just going to rush it. Pop, pop. There we go. Hover. He has to wait. He has to wait. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Get distance has been bought. Beautiful stuff. Okay, Charles is cooking, bro. He is cooking. Buy enough time here. Come on, Charles. He gets behind this pallet. Yup, beautiful work. Beautiful work. This is a draw. This is a draw. This is a draw. Yo, if Dungeon was there, bro. Oh, wait. He, he can get on. He can get on a uh, tram. He is going to opt to. He is going to opt to get on tram. Yep. He's going to opt to get on tram. Are the other two just going to run out? Are they waiting? Oh, they're just waiting. They're gate waiting. They're gate waiting. Wait. Mercenary can body block. Oh, my gosh. And yeah, she knows this, though. She knows that Mercenary can body block. Oh, my gosh. But she has blink, though. She has blink. And she just hits. Yeah, she just hits him. Okay. Yeah, just, just, get, just get out. Just get out. Just get out. Secure your draw. Secure your draw. Secure your draw? All right, guys? You don't have Tied. Just get out. There we go. Okay. That's the draw. That's the draw. That is the draw. Okay. And that, it looks like that's just going to be the win for GH then. Wow. I guess I guess that 4K in the first, uh, the first round really uh, made a difference. My goodness. All right. Well, congrats to GH. They won the set. Only two rounds. Very unfortunate. I think the Dream Witch might have needed a 3K there. And she was playing well. She got a decently fast down on the Cowboy, but she kind of just got Cypher Rush there. Cypher Rush continues to be dummy meta, bro. Anyways, everybody, that is going to be it for today. I always love watching some uh, Koa games. You know how it is, bro. It's it's Koa season. We watch play day games. It's just what we do. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.